proposal has been put forward in Holland that could revolutionise what the world looks like, how we make money and what we eat while completely changing how human beings farm forever. Relying on our food and clothes to be shipped in from the other side of the world to cut production costs could soon be a thing of the past, according to Dutch scientists, who have a completely different vision for the future that might be just round the corner. These Dutch scientists are excited to propose something which will mean a total shift in the consciousness of society, where people will get sick less, people will be happier, and there will be far more opportunities to prosper and make a living than what we know of today. And all put together, it's becoming known as the Dutch plan. Holland, also known as the Netherlands, is a North European country that covers an area of 33,883 kilometers squared, of which around 24.9% is used for agriculture. It is one of the most densely populated countries in the world, with a population density of 486 people per kilometer squared. It has a population of 17 million, and around 2.7 million people are employed in the agricultural sector. 55% of the Netherlands is reclaimed land, mostly from the sea. The land was reclaimed by creating a complex network of canals, dikes and ditches, which was done to prevent flooding and create more land for agricultural production. Its flat landscape makes it easy to transport goods and produce, as the many rivers and canals provide trade routes and irrigation channels. The country is also located in a temperate climate, with mild winters and plenty of rain, creating ideal conditions to grow a variety of crops. Holland is the world's second largest exporter of agricultural products, behind the United States. And it's the world's leading producer of greenhouse vegetables, producing more than 8 million tonnes per year. It's also the world's largest exporter of potatoes, onions, mushrooms and carrots, and the third largest producer of dairy products in the world, with an annual production of around 10 million tonnes. The Dutch plan is the brainchild of Wouter van Eck, a humble farmer from a small rural village in Holland, who has calculated something so overwhelmingly compelling is gaining the support of millions of people around the world. Because Wouter's idea could completely change how everyone from governments to supermarket chains, clothing manufacturers and farmers work forever. And it's all based on years of overwhelming evidence from his own practical experience. As complicated as all of this might sound, it actually comes down to something extremely simple that has a follow-on effect throughout the whole of society. And that's how we grow our food. Fulta has suggested that if we slightly modify a few elements of our production process, the ramifications would produce such an abundance there would be so much surplus, the economic effects would catapult the world into a new era of unparalleled economic growth that's never been seen before. Fulta is chairman of the Netherlands Food Forestry Foundation, who proposed a new Dutch plan in a letter to Holland's ministers of agriculture and of nature and nitrogen. Twelve years ago, Wouter van Eck started a food forest on two hectares of former maize land. He planted several trees and shrubs and then mainly waited. Now, twelve years later, his food forest already provides a lot of nature. Beavers live on the property, as do weasels, grass snakes, glowworms and more than 30 species of breeding birds. And the forest also supplies a lot of food. Wouter's 1.1 acre food forest has over 80 species of tree, shrub and herbaceous plants, which produce over 5,000 tons of fruit and nuts annually, while supporting a wide variety of wildlife. So what exactly is a food forest? And why is it so much more productive and environmentally friendly without needing chemical pesticides or fertilizers? A food forest is an intentional planting of a variety of edible trees, shrubs and plants that mimic a natural woodland ecosystem. Its purpose is to produce a variety of edible and useful plants that can provide a steady supply of food, medicine and other resources. Food forests are beneficial because they create a sustainable food system that can provide people with access to healthy, nutritious and affordable food. They also help to reduce soil erosion and improve water quality, reduce the impact of climate change and provide a habitat for wildlife. 
A food forest is the opposite to modern farming, which grows one crop on its own. A food forest grows a diverse mixture of different crops that are best suited to the climate of the location, with different types of fruit and vegetable species, all mixed up growing together. Part of the objective is to attract and support wildlife like birds and insects, so they can play their roles by pollinating and spreading seeds, as it's the biodiversity in a forest which makes them massively more fertile than farmland. This study shows forest soil is 70% more fertile than arable land. Here you can simply compare the height of the grass grown in forest soil compared to the grass grown in arable land soil, which is significantly shorter. This is because forest soil is alive with life. There are insects, worms and mushrooms and mycelium, all playing their roles in the ecosystems, converting decomposing matter into healthy soil. In every handful of forest soil there are millions of healthy bacteria, but on these farms all the life and biodiversity is gone, and they need to use more and more chemical fertilizers to produce anything. Felix swears that he already earns more money with his food forest than a farmer who grows ryegrass or maize nearby. That's mainly because I hardly have to do anything for it. I don't have contractor bills, I don't have to buy fertilizer or pesticides, and I don't have an expensive tractor. But in the meantime, I can supply food, including to a top restaurant here in my hometown. His farm is evidence of the increased yields natural farming has, combined with huge environmental improvements. And in a letter to Holland's Ministers of Agriculture and of Nature and Nitrogen, Vuta has outlined the massive benefits his plan to implement food forests throughout the Netherlands would have. A food forest captures a lot of CO2 and requires no manure, no pesticides and no diesel tractors, while providing a continuous stream of nutrients. This form of agriculture is therefore a solution to various current problems. Food forests can offer a way out of the various crises that agriculture is currently facing. In the next 10 years, you could convert 170,000 hectares of agricultural land into food forests, which would produce food for more than a million people while saving the climate, biodiversity and nitrogen. In the meantime, on those 170,000 hectares, it would also capture as much CO2 as the entire Dutch industry would have to save by 2030. To prove that this is not a fairy tale, the foundation has already joined forces with several farmers and they are now converting large tracts of farmland into food forests. What do you think about the Dutch plan and how quickly do you think it can replace conventional agriculture? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more uplifting stories about amazing new green innovations like these. Thank you for watching.